Hello, I am Kristen and welcome to my carnivore journey. Today is day 100. I am so excited that we've reached 100 days on this journey. Thank you so much for following along. If you are new here, please make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and follow along. I would love to hear in the comments if you are on day 100 with me. How is it going? How do you feel? Why was your why? Why did you start? And how are you feeling overall? Are you going to continue to do the carnivore journey or are you going to start reintroducing foods like I am and seeing if other foods do okay with your body? Because like I always say, there is no one size fits all in this nutrition. I am not a nutritionist or a doctor. This is my journey and my journey alone. And I just came on here one day. I decided my why was to try to see if I can get rid of my depression, of my anxiety, my fatigue, my brain fog, bloatedness. I have thyroid issues, microscopic colitis. It, it was a long list of things that I wanted to get rid of. And every time I would go to the doctor, they would say, your blood work is fine. You're good. And just that was it. There was no, let's figure out why you're still feeling this way if this is showing that you're okay. And so my husband had talked about the carnivore diet for a long time. I thought he was absolutely crazy. I thought it was a crazy diet to do. Such a huge elimination diet that I thought that I wasn't going to be able to do it. And going into week one, if you look at my videos, I really thought I couldn't do it. I was ready to quit multiple times because... I just felt like shit and I was not feeling better. It was a roller coaster of my stomach and the fatigue and my anxiety still there. And it wasn't like you see in the internet when you go online and it's like week one on the carnivore diet and I no longer have brain fog and I've lost 10 pounds and no. It was not like that at all, not even close for me. And so I want to remind you, if you are on this journey, if you're new to this journey, stick to it because not everybody's going to have a great week one. It took me almost the first 30 days to really hone in to this diet and really figure out what was working for me and what wasn't. I found out that I have a mild allergy to pork and it would make me feel super nauseous when I would eat like... Um, heavy rendered pork, like pulled pork. And um, there was another one <laughs> that I can't think of right now, but the rendered fat does not do good with my stomach. So if I have an 80, 20 ground beef, I cannot make it into ground beef because it affects my stomach. Um, certain things like that, bone broth, I'm allergic to bone broth, right? So just different things along my journey that I found what was working for me, what wasn't. And you're going to do the same. There's going to be things that work for you that maybe don't work for me and vice versa. And maybe it all works for you. And maybe week one, you're freaking incredible and you feel amazing. And I will be so happy for you. But for me, that was not the case. And so after getting reaching my 30 days, I said, you know, I'm starting to feel better. I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm going for for 60 days. And then I was going to go for 90. And then 90 just sounded like, why not reach for a hundred? I feel like a hundred is a good number. <laughs> so today's my hundred days and I am feeling no depression. I am not bloated at night. Like I used to be brain fog is no longer there. My fatigue and my anxiety, I would say is 90%, maybe even a little bit more. There are still some days where all of a sudden I feel a little bit tired. Like today, this morning, I overate my breakfast again. I got really full and right away, I start to feel a little bit of that fatigue, but I just start to drink water. I start to move my body around and I start to get that energy back. Um, anxiety has fluctuated and I don't know if it was my hormones throughout my period or what was going on. That's usually the, when I usually feel it the most. And so that's a little bit frustrating, but oh my gosh. I feel so much better than I did a hundred days ago. And there is no way for you to tell me that this diet does not work because I've seen the changes. I've seen the shift in my body. And I still think that my body is healing. I think that we want to eat a certain way and feel 
and we feel bad a certain way for so long that when we change that, we want to feel good in an instant. We want to be like a magic pill or that little magic drink that people talk about, which don't even get me started on that. Um, that's not how it works. You need time for your body to heal. You need time for your mind to heal. And so I think that I'm still transitioning into that. And the really reason that I want to go ahead and reintroduce foods and go a little bit more animal based is to see how I feel getting certain vitamins, certain nutritions from fruit. Fruit might not be your thing. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe it doesn't do good for your body. You don't feel good eating fruit, whatever your, your reasoning is, that's okay. You do not need to implement fruit if you do not want to. You not need to do raw honey either. There's people who don't agree with the whole, you know, implementing raw honey. That's fine. But I am. I'm going to reintroduce every three days, start something new. I'm going to start with some fruit that I have already here in the house. Usually we have strawberries and blueberries and apples and grapes. Those are kind of like the main fruits that I usually have here at the house. So I'm going to probably start with one of those and then I'll start implementing a couple other things. Um, I was researching more about the animal-based diet and some people implement things like sweet potato and um, there was another one that I saw, zucchini, cucumber. So I might implement those later on down the road, but not right away. I am not a big sweet potato person, so I'll see if I even do that at all, but definitely want to implement like papaya maybe squash. Squash was the other one. Um, I used to like making kind of like the spaghetti squash and just see how I feel on that. Eventually, it's not animal-based. I do want to implement onions and tomatoes and just see how my body reacts to those because I those are two things that I really, really do love. And also implementing certain herbs and spices. So garlic, um, maybe implementing a couple of the other things. I used to love doing like this curry, chicken curry, or um, there was another one that I, a jerk chicken, really, really good. But a lot of those spices sometimes don't do well with your body. And so I want to take it day by day. That'll be later on down the road. I also maybe want to try implementing cottage cheese. I know that some carnivores eat it. I have not. So maybe implementing carnivores. Uh, cottage cheese and also yogurt because I do like a good parfait. Obviously, I won't do the granola part of it, but I want to see how I feel on that. I feel like that's a good little dessert when I'm hungry. And then also implementing my carnivore ice cream with a substituted sugar that we used to use in the past that is really good. So I'll be talking about that more later on when I get into that. Um, again, this might not be part of your journey and that's okay, but I am here to just tell you how I'm doing, how these other foods might, might affect me or may not. And maybe there'll just be like a whole new world of other foods added to my list. So I hope that you've enjoyed these first hundred days. I look forward to continuing this journey with you getting more into detail of the different things that I'm eating and the benefits and maybe the not so good benefits. So thank you so much for following. Continue to follow. Again, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you again tomorrow for day 101 or day one of Animal Based. Have a great day.